Are you ready to be transported? Well, we're here at Glenn Lewis's mobile gallery. Not all artists need studios. Some just need to travel and a camera. So joining us, we have Glenn Lewis. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for showing off it's just your beautiful art. Oh my gosh, it's, I mean, it's, it's art of itself. And um, so walk us through how you get it on to the prints. It's, it looks unique. Um, so I'm the photographer. These are mm -hmm. a bunch of my photos. Uh, these are shown on aluminum and acrylic. And while I take okay. the photos and I do all the processing and whatnot, I don't actually do the printing myself. I have a lab that does that for me. So the okay. way it works with my, my booth anyway is if a customer comes and they see something they like, you know, ask me all the questions they want. I'm more than happy to discuss. And then I customize the photos. So someone chooses the material they want. I have them on aluminum. I have them on acrylic. Mm. And then they choose the size they want and I ship to them. Um, I do show photos from around the world. I focus primarily on the American West. I did grow up in Colorado, so this is kind of my backyard. So a lot of Colorado, Utah, Wyoming type stuff. Uh, I shoot all over the world though as well. If anyone you know comes by and is looking for something from overseas, let me know, I may have it. That's amazing. So when did you get into photography? So I did a semester abroad my last year in college. This is like 05, 06. And I made friends with a guy who was a much better photographer than me. And I got back from that trip and figured I wanted to be able to do what he was doing. So got my first job. I was an engineer for about a year, bought a camera, started to play around with it. Quickly realized I didn't want to spend the rest of my life behind that desk. Mm -hmm. Quit my job, moved overseas, ended up spending all my money and free time on photography and camera gear. And, uh, you know, eventually got to the point where I was spending all my money and time on photography, but not making any money on it. So I came back to the US to try and make a career out of it. And uh, that you was about six have. or seven years ago, and here we are now. Wow, well, you can see the time that you've spent. I mean, your eye is fantastic. What Thank kind you of so cameras much. do you use? Uh, I use all Sony, A7R II, three and four. I used oh. to shoot Canon, but honestly, I get a lot of camera questions. What I tell people these days is, it's 2022, you can't buy a bad camera right now. <laughs> it's true, I mean, we're shooting this on an iPhone. But there you go. Look at this, we'll, we'll just bring you around the tent a bit. I love how you kind of split up on different pieces. I mean, it really expands the whole image. Yeah, thank you. It's called a triptych when it's in three pieces like that. Uh, it's, it's, apologies, it's a bit of a mess. I'm not fully set up, so there's some cords blocking part of it. But yeah, I do my panoramas as either single pieces or triptych. Uh, there's another semi-local one that's just out Utah. How is it shooting animals? Are, how far are you? Is it nerve-wracking? You know, most of my wildlife is in the wild, and then you gotta be smart, be ready. You know, if I'm around bears, I always make sure to have my bear spray with me. Mm -hmm. um, the little red panda, everyone always comes in, and kids especially want to know about that guy. That was at the zoo. Um, so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not above going and shooting at a zoo somewhere. Um, I try to do stuff in the wild, but those guys are endangered and I'm not patient enough to get one of them in their natural habitat. Yeah, you definitely uh, have to be patient. But, you know, I think the coolest part about this is that you get to travel the world and do it for your for your job. So what's one of the, your favorite places you've been outside of the country? Um, well, great question right there. This is my last big trip right before COVID. So this is down in Patagonia. This is in Chile. Or is this Argentina? This is Argentina. Argentina. Sorry. This is a Perito Moreno Glacier. To give you guys a sense of scale, how giant this stuff is, that right there, that's like a 100 foot long boat. <laughs> so those glacial walls right there are 300 feet high. You go up to them on the boat and it's just towering above you. And actually, this little guy was taken in that same national park. Oh wow, so, the cutest fox ever, I yes. like the title. <laughs> I'm not creative with my titles, but I'm accurate. Wow, well, I told you, you're gonna be transported and every piece has a story and that's the brilliant thing about a festival like this. They get to come and talk to you, chat with you and really be brought into your adventure and, and then have it forever. So. Absolutely. So cool, <laughs> the Avon Art Celebration is happening all weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to five, 10 to four on Sunday. And then next weekend also, July 29th to the 31st, you have so much time, so come on down to Avon right by Nottingham Lake and check it out for yourself.